Just gonna focus. Oh my god, I'm so white. Hello. Okay. All right, y'all. This video, I was supposed to record makeup videos, um, all types of stuff today, but I'm really tired of letting my depression get the best of me. Um, so instead of just not making a video at all, I'm going to make a video about depression and about going through depression and anxiety. And hopefully this can reach somebody. I don't, I really don't know what I want this video to do. I just am tired of feeling like I have people to talk to, but not really have anybody to talk to at the same time. And if you have depression, you know what I'm talking about. Like anybody Anybody that has depression can understand when people try to help you and either you just don't know how to internalize the help. Like, I don't know how to accept it. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just really tired of feeling like this. <sighs> All right, let's start over. What's up, my beautiful butterflies? Your girl, I can't even fucking say butterfly. What's up, my beautiful butterflies? It's your girl, Ryan, and I'm back with another video. It's period. Today's video is different. I was going to, I've been wanting to make a YouTube, I mean, make a makeup video. I'm not in the mood. I just don't want to come on here with a fake, um, happy attitude. I don't know how to do that. I'm depressed. I've suffered from depression for a long time. Um... I'd say maybe <laughs> a long time. <laughs> I've never, never thought I'd be the one to come on social media and cry. But that's what you gotta do. Um, suffer from depression for a long time and anxiety I used to just think that that's how you're supposed to feel like not depression of course I know what depression was I say maybe since I was 13 maybe 12 um I thought like as far as anxiety goes I thought that your mind was always supposed to race I thought like my my mind will race so hard that my brain will start hurting like my head it'll give me headaches and that's how I feel right now and I'm I don't want to be the one that comes on social media and cries and because that's so cheesy to me but sometimes you just need to get it out and I feel like I'm burdening the people around me because They've been around for such a long time that they know about my depression. So I've been talking to them. I'm 25. So I've been talking to them, the same people, about my depression for the last 10 plus years. And it's just like, I know they're tired of hearing it because I'm depressed about the same stuff. Body image, money, relationships. It's always the same stuff. I mean... Is it not for everybody else? Like, if, if it's not one thing, it's the other. If it's not the other, it's all of it. And I just feel like... I just feel like I am a burden. And 
I try to cut people out of my life that I feel like aren't helping anymore or are adding to my depression or body image issues. And the common denominator in all of this is me. And it's like, do I just cut myself out of the situation? Like, I'm so busy cutting everybody else off. Why don't I cut myself off? If you know what I'm saying. And it's like, I have a two-year-old now, so I can't do that anymore. I have no option of doing that anymore like I used to. And I feel like I'm supposed to be here for a reason. It's just getting there is the hardest part. I don't, I can see my reason. I can see my YouTube channel flourishing. I can see myself in love. I can see myself being a great mother. I can see myself in a big house. But at the same time, the path that's getting there is so hard. And I'm like, is it really even worth it? How long is this about to take? And I know you can't rush perfection. You can't, there is no such thing as perfection, but you can't rush stuff. But I'm just like, when am I going to get to the good part? I'm so tired of being broke. I'm so tired of being alone. Or I'm not even alone. I have a boyfriend and I love him and he loves me. And I just feel like I'm messing it up. Like, and it just circles back to maybe I'm the problem. I am the problem. My best friends, my son's godmother, my son's aunt, we're not friends anymore. And that was my doing because I felt like the way that I was being treated or the things that were being said to me weren't what a best friend is supposed to say to somebody. And I felt like I'm not trying to put my business out there. I'm not trying to put our business out there. I'm not trying to talk shit about them. Should I fucking miss them? To be honest with you, I just thought I was doing something good for myself, but the way that it's being carried now, it's kind of fucked up on their part. Um, so part of me is like, maybe I did the right thing. But then the other part is like, okay, now I really don't have nobody to talk to. Me and my mom and my dad are always fussing. Me and my parents are always fussing or my dad's not speaking to me me and my mom me and my mom aren't hold on sorry about that but i don't know i'm not trying to put my business out there but um i've just been going it's it just to sum everything up like Um, it's to the point where I don't even want to be a mom because <laughs> I don't feel like I'm going to be good enough like I know the logical side of it it's just it hurts and it's just getting really hard to be alive <laughs> I'm not going to kill myself please don't think I'm going to kill myself I'm not it's crossed my mind. I'm pretty sure it's crossed a lot of people's minds, but I know the the logistics of it. It's not. It wouldn't be right. Um, but suffering from depression, this shit sucks. It hurts. It's hard. Um, I'm trying to overcome it. Doing YouTube really helps but it's like at the same time when you get depressed you don't feel like doing it so how am I supposed to do something that stops me from being depressed if the thing that it helps me with is what's stopping me from doing it 
like I'm shooting myself in the foot pretty much. I'm just ready to be, am I ready to be successful? Can I, can I really handle that the way that I'm acting? I think I am ready to be successful. I'm ready to get out of this funk. I'm ready to be me. I'm tired of being this sad ass bitch. I am not sad. I'm a very happy person. When like, aside from all of this, I'm a very fun person. I feel like my energy is amazing. I feel like I'm attractive, I guess. I mean, okay, I'm not gonna say I guess. I know I'm cute. But then you see all these other girls out here and you're just like, but I can look like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I look like this. I'm not ugly. But then there's people that look like that. And you realize that you don't look like that. I got a referral yesterday from my doctor for a breast reduction surgery. I feel like that's the start. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can see the, I can see the success. I can see myself being happy with myself. It's just taking forever to get there. And I'm just tired of getting there. I'm ready to be there. Like, once I get this breast reduction surgery, that is... That's step one of being body positive. That is step one of building my physical confidence. Once my YouTube jumps off like I wanted to, that is the end of my financial burdens. Once I move out on my own and I can just come visit my parents when, when we miss each other and not have to stay here, that is the end of us going back and forth like, I can see that I can see the success. It's just getting there is hard. And I think that's why I'm so anxious about it because I can see the end. I can see where I'm supposed to be. I'm just not there yet. I don't know. This video was kind of pointless, but it wasn't at the same time because I needed to get this off my chest without talking to somebody directly and without getting advice back. Because sometimes you just need to talk and get it out. And I understand why people come on social media and express themselves because Ultimately, you're talking to yourself, but if you have a wide following, you can reach the right person. And also at the same time, you're not burdening, burdening the same people with your same problems. So I get it. I get why people talk to a camera. Because at the time that you're letting it out, you don't have somebody trying to give you advice or not really understanding you or whatever the case may be. And by the time you publish it, you've gotten it all out. So you feel good. And then when you publish it and that right person sees the video or those right comments come and, 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 you know, under your video, you get the right love and you can filter out the wrong love if you want. Or the hate, I mean, not the wrong love, but, well, hate is a form of love, to be honest with you. Hate is a form of love, so I would say the wrong love. And um, by that time, you would have calmed down and get your thoughts out. I really don't even know why. I, 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 know, I know why I'm making the video, but... I'm still going through depression, so it's not like it's not like a how do you conquer depression? Because I don't damn know. <laughs> I don't know. Help me. <laughs> I wish I knew. And when people say, "Oh, just look deep into yourself and just see the things that you love about yourself," and the same things that I love about myself, not everybody loves 
and I'm so focused on wanting people to love me when they don't love me back. I'm like, well, what am I doing wrong? Because what makes me happy is making other people happy. And when I don't make them happy, then I'm not happy because I'm not doing what my, what I feel like I'm supposed to be doing. And I don't have the means to make myself happy right now. So I can't make myself happy. I'm fucked up, like broken. So I can't make my boyfriend happy, even though he says that he's happy. I know I'd be stressing him out. I'm just afraid that one day I'm going to stress him out too much. He's just going to leave. Because that's happened before. And I know when he tells me, like, I'm not like everybody else. I've heard that before. But I can feel it. It's different. Now, like, I really feel like he genuinely won't go anywhere. But I'm just afraid that I'm going to stress him out too much. It's like, okay, well, if he loves you that much, then you're not going to stress him out too much. You're not going to go anywhere. But you think that about somebody and then they go. And I don't want to insult him by not giving him the benefit of the doubt. But it's like when you're with somebody who's broken, who's been giving people the benefit of the doubt, it's just hard. to keep giving people the benefit of the doubt when that's all you've been doing. It's not to talk down about my son's father, but this is just to add to the situation that I'm just letting everything out. But that's one person that I gave the benefit of the doubt to for a long time. And I knew that love was in his heart. I knew it was there. He just didn't know how to express it sometimes. Um, and the way that he coped, we coped the same way, drinking. <laughs> surprise, surprise, I'm a low-key alcoholic, I guess. Um, but once I got pregnant, I couldn't drink anymore, so I kind of had to sit with myself. Guys can't get pregnant, so he can't really sit with himself and sit out for 10 months and really think. So, um... Yeah, I gave benefit of the doubt to a lot of people, not even just him, but that's the relationship, the most recent and the most, of, that's the most, that's the relationship that had the most effect on me and how I am now, besides my dad. I got a whole nother story. But as far as relationship goes, I'm glad that my son's father found somebody who um, understands him and works with him. Because I couldn't. I couldn't. Not me. Not that. Maybe he learned from our situation, certain things that he doesn't do with her. So it's a little bit easier for her to manage with him because, I mean, I don't know the extent of the relationship. I don't know what's been going on in their relationship, but maybe he just kind of learned to not do certain things with her. So it's a lot easier for her to just cope with the drinking or something or the attitudes. That's The attitude wasn't hard to cope with. It was other stuff. And maybe he's not doing that with her. So. I'm hoping he doesn't do that with her. Because nobody deserves that. And I'm not saying. I'm sitting here like. I was an angel in our relationship. Like. There was no cheating or nothing involved. But. It was just hard. A verbal abuse. It's just abuse. Physical abuse. Stuff like that. Mental abuse. And I think he's learned from our situation and he's going to do it differently where I think he is doing it differently where and I'm glad he is. I'm glad. I really think that I'm the person that people learn from. 
because I've had a couple of people, a couple of relationships come back and tell me like from years ago, like I could tell that you were just trying to look out for me. Like people have learned from me. So maybe I'm just the one that people learn from. <clears throat> maybe I'm not supposed to have a relationship. I'm just the teacher. You know, I should just accept that. But when is the teacher going to be the one that is settling down? I'm tired of being the teacher. I'm tired of people learning lessons from me. I'm tired of people that I've given chances to coming back to me. Not even, I'm not talking about my son's father, but just people from when I was like, 17 18 coming back saying yeah I, I learned like i i really fuck with your energy it was cool you looked out for me like when are you gonna realize that when i'm here and not when i'm gone i'm tired of people coming back to me why can't you just stay with me or treat me right so i don't leave you Same with friendships. I, for as long as I can remember, I've been pretty enough to be cool. <laughs> but my, I wasn't, I should have been more vocal when I was younger. Like who I am now, I should have been that when I was younger. I should have stood up for myself more when I was younger and I didn't. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't have taken advantage of me of my kindness back then and yeah it sucks I don't know this video can go on forever all the shit that I got going on in my head I don't want to keep y'all I mean we could talk about this again but I just oh, I'm just so tired of feeling so stuck I just feel stuck Stuck in my emotions, stuck in a roller coaster, stuck in a cycle. I just want to get out of the cycle of nothingness. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. If I keep talking, I'm just going to be putting my business out there, and I really don't want to. Um, thank you for listening. Hopefully this gets some views. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm not going to keep making videos for views. I'm going to make videos because I want to. I am happy though. Positive news. I have a new setup, as you can tell. I have soft boxes and a black backdrop. And I feel like, I don't know, if what I can see, I don't look as washed out as I did with my ring light. Um. And it feels more professional. So, yeah, my video cut out. <laughs> so, clearly, it's too long. But <laughs> thank y'all for listening. Um, I'll see y'all in my next video. Please stay strong and stay safe. Wear your mask over your nose. So, we can get rid of this shit. I'm tired of wearing masks in public. All right, y'all. See you in the next video. Bye.